Hi everyone, this is Brenda here and welcome to my next episode day 40 of my Let's Clash series. So it's already been 40 days ever since we started this series. So it's really been an exciting journey ever since uh, for those of you who have been uh, part of this series ever since we started from day 1 up to day 40 right now. So uh, if we look at day 20, I had like a level 3 uh, Barbarians and Archers. Whereas now at day 40, I already have like level 5 buffs going ahead to get a level 5 Archer soon. And of course, uh, using a BAM, which is an uh, additional of minions, they really do help a lot. So of course, we're going to get to Town Hall 9 soon. And Town Hall 9 is going to be more exciting because I'm going to farm for gold and elixir at the same time. So now I'm only focusing on the gold, whereas I, when I reach to Town Hall 9, I will be able to focus on elixir too. So focusing on elixir will give me an additional boost to upgrade my walls quicker. Especially be able to get them to level 9 and above. Uh, quicker because I'll be able to use the elixir to upgrade the walls so now as you can see like all the rates that you guys have been watching usually I only go for the gold and not go for both of the resources because elixir to me right now is uh, practically useless so uh, really looking forward to get to Tower 9 and especially for those who are actually looking forward to uh, look at how I actually farm for Town Hall 9 and also in terms of time management which I've talked about in my previous uh, episodes in terms of uh, managing the build time of your uh, builders and also at the same time of how to manage your resources wisely so that you do not overspend and use the resources wisely and also of course the long awaited dark elixir farming which i've already mentioned i'll be doing the farming of dark elixir once i've gotten to like meet town hall 9 because uh being a premature town hall 9 is really hard to farm for dark elixir that is one and also i really need to push uh, slightly higher in the league so that i could find a dark elixir much better so I really need to uh, get stronger troops and maybe a slightly stronger base so that I do not get 3 stars all the time. Maybe just getting 2 stars should be fine otherwise I'll be having a hard time trying to even maintain my trophies at like a crystal league or in fact if I want to farm a dark elixir faster maybe in fact in master league I'm not really sure right now as in the farming situation. So some of you can actually hit me up and let me know uh, what you guys think about dark elixir farming as in currently how are you guys farming dark elixir. And whether is it fast for you guys, like how much are you guys farming in an hour, how much you guys are actually farming in a day or whatsoever. So yeah, I really uh, would just want to thank you guys, all those who actually have been staying with me for the whole entire series of the past 40 episodes. I know it's been a very long episode, some of the episodes have been like 20 over minutes or in fact like uh, some of them they are pretty short, like maybe 7 minutes. So just don't be disappointed, I will be making those long ones and short ones. Uh, depending on how long and how much you guys want to uh, watch so now as you can see going ahead with the raids I've just done a 3 stars and going ahead to attack this Town Hall 7 again it's gonna be a 3 star too just to let you guys have a small little sneak peek of what's gonna happen in the next 1 or 2 minutes so yeah I just um, really appreciate those of you who actually have joined me along the way I really appreciate if you guys can actually leave a like on the video so that I would know how much you guys have actually enjoyed the whole entire um, series and also episode and also, I, if you guys notice, I've also made improvements in terms of showing my uh, videos, this and that. Especially just showing you guys those really higher uh, amount of rates and not showing those um, like uh, below uh, 220,000. So I'll be making a smaller improvement. You guys can also uh, hit me up on the comments below as in what kind of improvements I can make to make the series a more exciting one. At the same time, uh, make it more um, uh, likable for you guys. So some things that I like to head up to you guys that I can't do which are like the sound like the gameplay sound I can't really add it in because I'm usually outside so that's something that I won't be able to add in because I it would be there will be a lot of background sounds if I were to actually have the gameplay sound being input into the videos so yeah I'm sorry about that so yeah do hit me up in the uh, comment section below to let me know what kind of improvements we can improve for the next subsequent episodes although we are already at episode 40 so yeah i just love to hear what kind of uh, comments you guys have and also ideas you guys have too so yeah going ahead as now you can see i've upgraded my walls a lot today i found my walls like super duper crazily uh why i did that was because it was a weekend uh, so i didn't have a lot of time to actually uh, clash so of course uh, having a lot of time to clash i will have more time to farm having more time to farm i will be able to farm even more resources and of course, uh, although it's a weekend, but I was still able to find a lot of high uh, resources bases such as this particular one with just only 200,000 gold. But just, just attacking only the gold mines, they're pretty fast. So I'm not only focusing and showing you guys those kind of 300 or 400 over thousand gold rates. I'm going to show you guys the kind of quick rates whereby I'm doing it in just like around 30 to 40 seconds using not all my troops, just a minimum number of troops. 
so that you guys also have a rough idea of how I actually farm because I do not use all my troops for all the raids unless it's like a 300 or 400 over thousand resources a base then I would consider to actually use all of the uh, troops so that I could actually go for more raids more frequently so now as you can see I decided to just end the battle soon enough because uh, I was able to get most of the resources we just left with the Dark Elixir at the bottom left with 41 archers together with me so I was able to do another raid pretty quickly don't have to wait for that uh, remaining troops so going ahead to find this uh, raid is pretty easy to attack because a lot of the resources were outside and also um, I had some um, minions with me so of course the minions will come in handy once I uh, actually clear some of the structures but then I decided not to go for the 50% because it's just gonna waste a lot of my uh, troops again as mentioned so just going ahead to just steal all the resources once the resources have gone down I'm really considering to just end the battle and of course the minions do come in handy right now as you can see the motor and also the cannons won't be able to touch them because they are flying troops and the motor can only hit ground troops so yeah that's really awesome to use some uh, minions and going ahead back to my base I've completed another achievement getting 10 more gems totaling up to 87 gems in total so yeah, I'm actually stocking up gems. So why I'm actually stocking up gems is because once I'm starting to farm for Dark Elixir, I will have to have some gems with me. Not to gem up the Dark Elixir or whatsoever, or in fact to use boost. But I might have to use some emergency boost. What I mean by emergency boost for myself is basically when I'm not free to play for a certain period of time. But I do need Dark Elixir because my uh, heroes that are actually completing their upgrades soon. Then I might have to boost my uh, barracks so that I can farm slightly faster with a shorter given amount of time so that I can get the uh, required amount of Dark Elixir for them to be uh, level up to the next level. So we will see how I mean uh, I'll definitely inform you guys and also update you guys uh, through the video I'm not going to show you guys uh, me not boosting I'm pretty sure you guys want to uh, see a max base being farmed out uh, basically a jamless basically boostless but yeah I mean sometimes I do have to boost basically to actually get back the resources that I'm unable to get back because of a, a life commitments I mean real life commitments that I'm unable to play clash so I just have to play clash uh, during my slightly more free time like maybe only at night so yeah we will see how but yeah I'm actually saving up gems hopefully be able to save up to like a thousand or two thousand gems just in case I really do need to use them but of course I'll not use them all at once maybe I use like one or two uh, boosts in a day maybe using like 20 gems in a day if I really need to use that for emergency purpose but of course I'll be showing you guys some clan wall replace soon once I've reached to town hall 9 and of course with a more mature base so that uh, you guys can have a slight feel of how it is like to actually war with such a base and of course I'll be giving you guys tips on war too and also how to manage your uh, heroes at the same time how to also war without heroes because I've mentioned before that I'll be farming my heroes throughout the way I won't be uh, letting them um, even uh, be used for raids once I've gotten my archer queen I'll try to use, uh, upgrade both of the heroes simultaneously and then get them to as high as level possible and then I'll be able to show you guys uh, some uh, war raids, try to 2 star some bases without any heroes. So I have to uh, use a certain kind of uh, army combo that's pretty strong, maybe either Gobi White, which uh, might have to use 2 Pekkas, either that or I might have to use some uh, Mass Dragons or in fact some Lava Lumians, because uh, using uh, this kind of army combo would give you a higher chance to get a 2 stars without heroes, especially Mass Dragons and also Lava Lumians, which I've actually done uh, in some clan wars using my friend's account, my clanmate's account to actually uh, use mass dragons with their account without any heroes to actually two stars uh, lower town hall bases. So um, yeah, we will see how when uh, once I've gotten to town hall 9, of course showing you guys some uh, clan wall replace. So now back to my base, now as you can see I'm upgrading a lot of my walls, I was going to try to upgrade all of my walls to get them all to level 8. But I decided to not to upgrade all of them, try to upgrade a bit of them on the lower level ones so that I could actually uh, get them to a slightly higher level. And of course, uh, trying to control my goal because now I'm just left with only 4,806 gold. So now I'm going to go ahead to upgrade a gold mine to level 7, which should take 12 hours to upgrade to the next level. And now I'm going ahead to check how many walls we have actually completed. We've gotten 194 walls to level 8. So that's really awesome, just almost... Um, completing all of it and yeah for those of you who have added me on game center I really truly appreciate if you have reached more than a 300 over friends already 
and the cap capacity is actually 500 so those of you who actually want me want to add me do add it quick otherwise when the spaces reach to 500 and you can't add me anymore then i can't do anything about it so yeah going ahead to check out my profile i've uh, gotten 915 uh, attack wands ready the season will be attack, uh, finishing soon, so hopefully we'll be able to get to a thousand attack wands before the season ends. And of course, uh, checking out my Elixir Escapade, we are just around 1.3 million more to getting the 3 stars for that. So yeah, we're going to definitely get it in the next episode. Hopefully, uh, we're going to get uh, the Elixir Escapade to maybe 200 million quicker, because uh, at Town Hall now, I'll be farming for Elixir too. So the Elixir Escapade will definitely increase much quicker. So yeah, I'd like to thank you guys for uh, watching my video and also sticking along with me for this whole entire series. It's been really an awesome series to actually entertain you guys. So we're going to carry on with the next few more episodes. So with this, yeah, I'd like to thank you guys for watching my episode and Clash on.